While we're accustomed to the familiar trio of solid, liquid, and gas here on Earth, venturing beyond our planet's atmosphere introduces us to an entirely different state of matter. Plasma. It's a matter on turbo mode, made up of charged up bits called ions and electrons. From the blazing stars in the night sky to the crackling bolts of lightning and neon signs on our planet, plasma manifests itself in various ways, offering a glimpse into the extraordinary nature of space. Yet the strangeness of the cosmos extends far beyond plasma, as NASA continues to uncover an array of perplexing elements and forces that challenge our understanding of the universe. Number 9. Cosmic Alchemy In a stunning display of cosmic power, the Sun performs an astonishing feat every second. It melds approximately 600 million metric tons of hydrogen atoms together, a process equivalent in mass to 102 Great Pyramids of Giza or 1,812 Empire State Buildings, or nearly the entirety of Earth's fish population, according to some estimates. This remarkable phenomenon, known as fusion, occurs deep within the Sun's core, where hydrogen atoms are compressed under intense pressure and temperature to form helium. At the dawn of the universe, its elemental composition primarily consisted of hydrogen and helium, with a sprinkling of other light elements. Through the relentless process of fusion within stars and supernovae, the cosmos has been enriched with over 80 additional elements, some of which are crucial for the existence of life. Stars like the Sun are unparalleled fusion engines, tirelessly converting vast amounts of hydrogen into helium every second, a process that powers their radiant glow. Alongside the creation of new elements, fusion liberates tremendous amounts of energy and particles of light known as photons. Remarkably, it takes these photons around 250,000 years to traverse the immense distance from the Sun's core to its visible surface. Spanning approximately 434,000 miles, about 700,000 kilometers. From there, it's merely a brief eight-minute journey for light to travel the staggering 93 million miles 150 million kilometers, to reach our home planet, Earth. In contrast to fusion, fission, a nuclear reaction that splits heavy elements into smaller ones, was first successfully demonstrated in laboratories during the 1930s and is currently utilized in nuclear power plants. While fission releases considerable energy and can result in significant explosions, the energy output per unit mass remains several times lower than that generated by fusion reactions. Nevertheless, Harnessing fusion power for practical applications remains a formidable challenge. As scientists grapple with the complexities of controlling plasma to achieve sustainable fusion reactions. Number 8. The Enigmatic 1977 WOW Signal In August 1977, a radio telescope operated by Ohio State University detected a curious burst of radiation originating near the constellation Sagittarius. Lasting 37 seconds, this signal was so extraordinary that the astronomer monitoring the data hastily marked WOW on the telescope's printout. It's within a band of radio frequencies, typically off-limits for Earth-based transmissions. Additionally, unlike natural sources of radiation from space, which tend to exhibit a broader frequency range, this signal was exceptionally focused. The nearest star in the direction of the signal lies approximately 220 million light-years away. This immense distance suggests that the signal could only have been produced by an extraordinary astronomical event, or potentially by the deliberate transmission of intelligent beings possessing a highly advanced transmitter. To this day, the origin and nature of the WOW signal remain a mystery. Number 7. Rings of Haumea Haumea, a dwarf planet residing in the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, has long piqued the interest of astronomers due to its peculiar characteristics. Not only does it boast an elongated shape and host two moons, but its remarkable rotational speed sets it apart as the fastest spinning large object within our solar system, with a day lasting a mere four hours. However, in 2017, Haumea added another layer of intrigue to its profile, when astronomers observed that the dwarf planet is passing in front of a distant star. During this celestial transit, astronomers made an astonishing discovery. They detected incredibly thin rings encircling Haumea. These rings, likely the aftermath of a significant collision in the distant past, represent an unexpected addition to Haumea's already unconventional features. Their presence offers valuable insights into the dynamic and turbulent history of this enigmatic dwarf planet. Number 6. Lava Planet 
imagine a world akin to a fiery hellscape. A lava planet where the very surface is ablaze with molten rock and relentless heat. Such a planet would likely be tidally locked to its neighboring star, resulting in one side eternally bathed in scorching temperatures, featuring rivers of lava and molten rock dominating the landscape. Meanwhile, the opposite side would bear the scars of cooled lava rock, a desolate terrain devoid of life. Additionally, the rocky surface of this planet might emit a constant stream of dust into the void of space. Evidence gathered from the Spitzer telescope suggests that the exoplanet 55 Cancri Eme indeed embody such a nightmarish landscape, offering a glimpse into the extreme and inhospitable environments that exist beyond our own solar system. Number 5. Magnetic Reconnection Every day, the space surrounding Earth experiences powerful explosions. These eruptions occur when the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emitted by the sun, interacts with Earth's protective magnetic field, known as the magnetosphere. As the solar wind pushes against the magnetosphere, it causes the magnetic fields of the sun and Earth to become entangled. Eventually, the intense pressure causes the magnetic field lines to snap and rearrange themselves, resulting in a rapid release of nearby charged particles. This explosive phenomenon is called magnetic reconnection. Although magnetic reconnection is invisible to the naked eye, its effects are observable. Occasionally, some of the displaced particles penetrate Earth's upper atmosphere where they generate the mesmerizing auroras. Magnetic reconnection is not unique to Earth. It occurs throughout the universe, wherever twisting magnetic fields exist. NASA's Magnetospheric Multiscale mission is dedicated to studying reconnection events around Earth providing valuable insights into this phenomenon in regions that are more challenging to observe, such as solar flares, areas surrounding black holes, and the vicinity of other stars. Number 4. wolf Rayet Stars Imagine a stellar entity of immense proportions, an enigmatic wolf Rayet star, blazing with intense luminosity, yet harboring profound mysteries within its core. What distinguishes it from familiar celestial bodies like our Sun, here lies the crux. While our sun predominantly burns hydrogen, a wolf Rayet star has largely depleted its hydrogen reservoirs, embarking on a fiery fusion journey primarily fueled by helium. But let's delve deeper into the realm of astronomical facts. What lies ahead for our own sun? Will it too undergo a transformative shift, transitioning from hydrogen to helium fusion in the course of its stellar evolution? And what of the wolf Rayet star's colossal mass 25 times that of our Sun. This staggering difference in mass poses intriguing questions about the underlying mechanisms governing stellar dynamics. Number 3. Revisiting the Drake Equation In 1961, American radio astronomer Frank Drake introduced the Drake Equation, a pioneering tool aimed at estimating the prevalence of planets in our galaxy capable of harboring intelligent life and engaging in communication with Earth. The Drake Equation encompasses seven key factors, including the rate of star formation akin to our Sun, the proportion of Earth-like planets, and the likelihood of life arising on these planets. Despite the inherent uncertainties in these parameters, Drake himself speculated that the galaxy might be home to around 10,000 civilizations capable of communication. Fast forward to 2001, and a more refined approach to calculating the abundance of life-bearing planets emerged. Leveraging new data and theoretical insights, researchers arrived at a startling revelation. The galaxy could potentially host hundreds of thousands of planets teeming with life. Notably, this updated estimate took into account the concept of the habitable zone around stars, where conditions conducive to life, such as liquid water and the possibility of photosynthesis, are more likely to prevail. For the first time, Scientists ventured to quantify the proximity of inhabited Earth-like planets, suggesting that such celestial neighbors could be within a few hundred light-years' reach. Number 2. Martian Microbial Mystery In 2002, Russian astrobiologists made a bold assertion, proposing the possibility of a radiation-resistant microorganism, Deinococcus radiourans, having evolved on Mars. This microbe, renowned for its remarkable resilience, can endure radiation doses thousands of times higher than those lethal to humans. In their groundbreaking experiment, the Russian scientists subjected a population of Deinococcus bacteria to intense radiation, resulting in the demise of 99.9% .9 of the organisms. Surprisingly, 
the survivors not only persisted, but also thrived, gradually acquiring even greater resistance through subsequent rounds of radiation exposure. After 44 cycles, the bacteria displayed an astonishing level of resilience, requiring 50 times the original radiation dose to induce mortality. Through meticulous calculations, the researchers concluded that it would take numerous cycles of radiation exposure to confer a similar level of resistance to more common microbes like E. coli. Given that Earth experiences radiation doses at a significantly so over millions of years, they argue that the rapid radiation exposure on Mars, devoid of a protective atmosphere, could have facilitated the evolution of such resilient microorganisms in a relatively short time frame. According to their hypothesis, the ancestors of Deinococcus may have originated on Mars propelled into space by asteroid impacts and eventually reached Earth aboard meteorites. Despite the intriguing implications of their findings, skepticism persists among other experts regarding this radical proposal. Number 1. Extreme Temperatures from the frozen expanses of Siberia to the scorching sands of the Sahara, Earth bears witness to an astonishing range of temperatures. Our planet's records span from a sweltering 134 degree 57 degree C to a bone-chilling 129 degree 89 degree C. However, what we perceive as extreme on Earth pales in comparison to the norm in the vast expanse of space. On airless planets devoid of protective atmospheres, Temperature fluctuations between day and night are nothing short of staggering. Take Mercury, for example, where daytime temperatures soar to a blistering 840 degree, 449 degree, only to plummet to a frigid 275 degree, 171 degree C at night. Even in the void of space itself, spacecraft endure temperature differentials of up to 60 degree, 33 degree C between their sunlit and shaded sides akin to watching a glass of water freeze in the shade on a scorching summer day. To withstand such extremes, the satellites and instruments launched by NASA are meticulously engineered. Consider the Solar Dynamics Observatory, spending the majority of its time bathed in sunlight. Yet, during periodic eclipses when it enters Earth's shadow, the temperature of its sun-facing solar panels plunges by a staggering 317 degree F, 158 degree X, Ingenious onboard heaters kick into action, ensuring the safety of the delicate electronics and instruments with just a half degree dip in temperature. Similarly, the spacesuits worn by astronauts are marvels of engineering, capable of enduring temperatures ranging from 250 degree Kf to 250 degree F, 157 degree S to 121 degree Ks. Clad in reflective white material to combat solar radiation, these suits are equipped with internal heaters to keep astronauts warm in the darkness of space. Designed to maintain consistent pressure, oxygen levels, and resilience against micrometeorite impacts and ultraviolet radiation from the sun, these suits are indispensable guardians of human exploration beyond the bounds of our home planet.